In this video, I'm going to explain how to get V out over V in. In, another, in other words, what is this V out over V in? It's called gain. Right? So what is the gain of our circuit? Our circuit is comprised of two of amps connected after each other or in a cascade. Okay, so when we have cascaded up amp problems, to not overwhelm ourselves or to the first step in solving is to what? To look at the first one. Looking at the first one, if you redraw it by itself, it is what? It is like this, 5k, and then this is ground, and then we have the feedback resistor RF, which is 10k, and then we have this 4k resistor. It's connected to our inverting input, right? And the other side of it is connected to V out. So if it's like this in the original drawing, maybe it's not obvious for you what type of op amp it is. But in the redrawing, if you think about it as something like this, this is what? This is the 4K and V out, right? I'm just redrawing. And this is your V input. So 4K here is an input resistor to the inverting uh, input of the op amp. So now what kind of op amp does it look like? It looks like a summing amplifier. And what is the equation uh, for a summing, am summing amplifier? It is V out here. We already have V out here, for, so let's call it V out 1. So V out 1 is what? Minus RF over R1 times times V1 plus RF over R2 times V2. In this case, what is RF? It is 10K. What is R1? Choose any of those resistors. Let's say 5K. And then what is V1? Since we chose 5K to be the first uh, resistor, then let's see what is the voltage here. VI, right? And then RF is still the same, 10K over R2, the other resistor, 4K. What is V2? What is the 4K resistor connected to? V out here, right? 4K is connected to V out. V out. So, V out 1 is minus, this is 2, right, VI plus 5 over 2, V out. Simplify further, V1, V out 1 is minus 2, VI plus 2 point not plus minus right because minus is multiplied by both so minus 2.5 v out our end goal is to find v out over v in right we we want to get rid of v01 or v out one which is this one here right we want to represent this one in terms of V01, uh, sorry, in terms of VI and V out. From the characteristics of up amps, what do we know? If this was VA and this was VB, we know that VA equals VB, right? So if V01 is VA, 
So VB is equal to V01, right? Notice also how can we link this um, this voltage here to this voltage here? V out here, this is the same node for V out, right? We do voltage division so we can get VB in terms of V out. So let's do it. Let's scroll down. Okay, I had a little trouble scrolling down. So again, what did we say we want to find out? We want to find out VB in terms of V out. V out here is divided on 2k and 10k. What would be the voltage division equation? VB will be, this is the resistor for VB, 10k over the summation of the two resistors, 10k plus 2k times this voltage that is being divided, V out. So VB is equal to, this is 10 and this is 12, so 5 over 6 V out. Right, so we have VB and we say this is VA, right, V01, VB is equal to VA, which is the output of this op amp. So the output of that op amp is what it's found here, minus 2 VI minus 2.5 VL is equal to VB here, which is 5 over 6 V out. So if we rearrange, um, it will be minus 10 over 3 V out is equal to 2 VI. So V out over VI is equal to minus 2 times 3 over 10 which is minus 6 over 10 which is minus 0 0.6 and there are no units because it's output over input and this is what we call a gain or the gain okay so to recap what did we do or how did we solve this cascade of two op amps? We said let's discuss the first one first, right? Get the um, output here and we called it V01 or V output 1. Uh, and to get this output, first we look at the op amp and see if we recognize um, the type of the op amp. And in this case, we recognize that it's a summing amplifier. And we easily applied the equation for the summing amplifier. Then from the characteristics of an op amp, we, we know that this voltage here is equal to this voltage here, right? We call this VA and this is VB. We know VA, which is, we found the value for it uh, and we called it V01. And then now, and then we got the equation with V01 equals um, a term with VI and V out, right? Then we want to do the same thing here. We know that this VB is equal to VA. We want to get VB in terms of V out. We recognize that this is the voltage division here. The voltage V out is divided on this 2K resistor and the 10k resistor but we are interested in the voltage drop across the 10k because it's going to be equal to vb we got that expression and then we equated it uh, we equated it to the first expression that we had here rearrange to get v output over v input okay and this way we got the gain without even knowing what is the input in numbers or what is the output in numbers okay
I hope that uh, I made this clear and good luck.